Just like what I did with Season 1 of Vox Machina. I had to run it back for Season 2. I have a bunch of characters here. I think it's like 20 or so. But uh, behind my head, you know, <laughs> per usual. Uh, we have, uh, I believe his name is... Fuck, I don't know. He's just a freaky-ass nigga, bro. It's our Garmelli, and then we have Groon. We have Cam, and obviously Kylie. I'm slightly covering her up, but not much. But just to let y'all know, those are, those are the ones that are, like, right here. So we got Garmilly, Gar Garmilly, whatever. Fuck this guy. Uh, Groon and Cam. So, because I'm not saying th this, this goddamn Sphinx's fucking full name. Hell no. <laughs> but uh, either way. We're here to rank them and have a good time, bro. And I'd like to, you know, see how I, this would, you know, go as well. But before, you know, I rearrange Vox Machina and all that, right? I will be putting everybody here on, like, the tier list. And then I'll be rearranging Vox Machina. Because I believe... We, like, season two definitely, definitely has some changes in the, uh, in the order of things. But, uh, let's get the, let's get the going. Gurmilly, Gurmilly, honestly, he going in F, but only because I'm changing, I'm changing F, because I don't think anyone's, like, a truly bad character, maybe outside of another nigga. But uh, I'm putting this nigga in F because it's freak. He, he's going in F because it's freak, bro. That, that's all it is. He going there because he's a freak, bro. <laughs> that's, that, that's literally the only reason, bro. But uh, next up is Groon. I liked Groon, bro. He uh, he started off, he kicked off our, our uh, basically season long, roughly season long uh, character arc for Grog and um really said in motion some things though uh i will i will say on uh the episode two of vox machina y'all probably saw <laughs> in the comments I, I was arguing about the fact that i think uh vasselheim is kind of pussy for not pulling up and like squabbling with thordak and the like, chroma conclave but like again i that's just my personal opinion I just think that he's a little like, like the, the the area is a little soft, bro. Because like, yeah, you can deal with it here, but why don't you just deal with the initial problem now before anything, before all the bad stuff happens? You know, that's me personally. Also, he's not going in C. I just that was just like to play some while while I yapped. Okay, uh, I think he'll be uh, he'll be top at B. Though I mean, he was more of just like a a catalyst to um set things up. So. I'll, I'll probably move him down right behind Gilmore. Yeah, right behind Gilmore is fine. Obviously, I will also be, you know, moving around the other characters that did, if, like, obviously uh, have some stuff to do in Season 2 as well. Like, you know, Allura, Hima, Genin, obviously, <laughs> as well as Gilmore. I will be moving those later after I put all these people on here. Ham. Yeah, he was pretty dope. He was pretty dope. Uh, like, Cam, like, the big-ass, like, the, the mate to Asissa. He was pretty dope. I feel like his, uh, his, uh, their, uh, their challenge to, you know, get the, I guess, like, Myth Carver from him was just, just to wound him, and, you know, the boy Scanlan did it. Uh, I think, I think he's probably higher than Groon, but I still think he's probably on B. So I'll probably put him top of B just because you know I don't think he's so he's yet on the tier of like where the Vox Machina characters are because obviously Vox Machina characters have the most you know uh character development like for most people most of the people so yeah but next uh we have Kylie which uh, I, I y'all probably already knew before I did. Obviously, Kylie is um spoiler alert. Just to let y'all know, this is humongous spoilers. If you haven't watched the show and you're watching this tier list for some reason, uh, Kylie is Scanlan's daughter, bro. Yeah, obviously I was confused on it as well, but I mean, 
this was an it this is interesting this is this is definitely going to be an interesting plot you know uh plot line there we go to what they're gonna do with this character here are they gonna leave her to just be like you know a, a side character or you know is she going to like come back and you know actually accept scanlan as her father scanlan gonna you know be like change in her eyes or anything like yeah like that that's an interesting thing and i i i i think she at least deserves an a tier for you know she, she definitely bamboozled me but i do think in the show they definitely made it so like they they seemed really perfect together and then and then the boom switch up because obviously kylie knows how to like you know just like swindle the fuck out of scanlan so yeah that, that was pretty dope seeing all that obviously outside of the like you know how scanlan describe the situation to pike yeah <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put her at the very bottom of a because i'm i like because like she's like really high up for me i really liked her character but like she has a possibility of going down if they just don't use her at all you know that's that's how i feel about it because uh you know she could either be up here with vox machina or quite literally just like plummet down because she just doesn't do anything so yeah that's why i think but next up is kev dak we got kev dak we got grog's uncle uh obviously he he he's a bad guy <laughs> he's a bad guy this motherfucker literally loganed grog on on a on a spear uh damn this nigga is actually fucking terrible bro but I mean, he did his job. I'm putting him above. Uh, eh, no, I'll, 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 I'll put him up in the B tier because he did his job, and like he, he did the plot's job into having Grog become that nigga again. You know, so I'll put him there. I'll put him right above uh, Delilah, but below Allura. So yeah. But next is um, fuck, I forgot his name. He's uh. He's uh, Kayla's dad, but hold on, I'm about to look for the name real quick. Uh, Kayla's dad is Corin. Corin. Um, I was gonna put her mom here, but we quite literally of of uh her mom, we only saw the back like the the flashback sequence of her t yapping to his daughter, <laughs> but like talking about like the we were made to pass through fire shit, which is dope. But like really, um, she she didn't appear much, so like she was up here that time, so. I'm just going to avoid putting her on the list right now. Just for everybody wondering, we're like, where Kayla's mom at? We saw her this season. Can't really put her up here because she only appeared one time. So, I mean, I guess, like, it's kind of, like, contradictory because I put, like, this lady here from the council of Taldore in here. So, it's kind of, or, or, or Iman there. So, it's kind of a little, like, you know, contradictory. But it's, like, I feel like it's more substantial because, like, I, I'm I'm basically using her as like the catalyst is like the entire council rather than or like you know the entire council outside of like Alora, Kima, and you know uh like Greg and you know um uh, the commander of uh, Brimsythe Brimsythe. So yeah. So Alora's dad is probably going to go down here next to like uh Uriel. Because he they really just don't do much. I think Uriel is obviously higher. Big Corin, but because uh, obviously he's like the he was the leader of Amon, he sacrificed his life. So it, actually, no, he didn't really sacrifice. He just died, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I feel like he's uh he's up there. Like and see, because again, again, C isn't bad. Okay, just to let y'all know, C is not bad. S is just like superior, and then A it's basically A B C D, boring and freak. All right, C is above like it's like above average dog so just relax okay but all right next up is uh the mommy of ravens uh yeah like at, like thinking thinking about it she she's basically been here the entire se season so kind of like um kind of like how we saw like grog's uh like you know storyline the entire time we also saw vex's like fucking plot line the entire time of him becoming him accepting himself as the champion of the the matron of ravens so i mean i i really like the matron of ravens i also think she's attractive <laughs> nah. 
but I do, but you know that's different. But I do feel like she like she's like an interesting character. That uh, you know, she's basically been waiting for Vax to, you know, go up. Like pretty much, she's been waiting for this moment to make uh, Vax her champion. I, I I I like the uh the matron of Ravens. I don't think she'll be she's up here yet. But I, w I can't wait to see what else she does because I feel like you know she's just there to watch now, like right now as well. So uh, for now, anyways, so beats here. But yeah, like this is ma this is the matron of ravens. If motherfuckers can't see properly, but that is her. So yeah, just letting y'all know. Uh, next up is Osissa or Sisa. I don't really remember how to pronounce her name exactly, but I think she was a pretty good character. I think she's she's like like a by default above cam because a uh sadly he's she's not dead unlike cam which is whack whack to kill off the cam like that but also just due to the fact that she she was the one that like you know ushered them all to go get the vestiges of uh like uh, divergence or something i think that's what it's called but either way she was the one that ushered vox machina into that direction of like getting them acquiring the vestiges like you know vex vex got the armor of the matron of ravens uh vex got the 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 Fenthris bow uh drug ended up getting the uh the gauntlets i forgot the name of them right now my bad um scanlan that got myth carver so i'm interested to see what other vestiges are you know going to be taking place uh next up is pervon the former champion of uh the mommy of ravens <laughs> but um i feel like he was definitely you know like he was just only like he was crucial for the for the the taking over uh like the vax's takeover of the champion title of, of for the matron so like yeah he would basically had to beat beat this guy in combat or like she, he you have to make this let let this guy accept you as the new champion or whatever like the stake take the armor from him pretty much which you know like it, it also like you know kind of like invoked a uh sort of like because i remember I, I mentioned it on the episode that i reacted to it it was like a um it was like when ichigo had to like accept white like the uh like the the the, the, the fucking the hollow inside of him like his power pretty much he had to accept his power that's that's how I felt about like you know Vax's whole situation with like Pervon and the Mason of Ravens because like that's just his life now where I was um yeah but uh I, obviously he's not an A tier but I do think he was a he was a pivotal character uh but I don't think he's in B tier either I'll probably put him down here top of C because he actually you know pushed our character forward made made him like you know actually accept the role and obviously later down the line he accepted. You know, he, he, he does not fear death anymore. He doesn't fear, you know, dying alongside his friends and shit like that. He accepts the fate that that's like, you're here because you're here. You're here for a reason type shit. So, yeah. Sorry. I I, I like I liked the Vax storyline. Sorry for just yapping for a while on that one. <laughs> but anyways, uh, next up we have, I think this is Raishan. This should be Raishan. I don't, I don't really know because like, I don't really remember. <laughs> I think this is Raishan, like, the one that basically, you know, fucking, like, uh, another spoiler, like, uh, possessed the Yenin or whatever she did at the very, uh, like, or whatever they did at the uh, very end of the season, uh, into saying, like, they want to form an, a partnership with Vox Machina to take down Thordak. So, she is, by, by definition, a traitor to Thordak, so... But, like, I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do, like, what Raishan's going to do. Like, most of the dragons really didn't, like, there's, like, some of the other dragons that didn't do much, as, like, we saw anyways. But, uh, I do believe Raishan's probably going to be, like, you know, um, the next, like, pivotal, like, you know, dragon we're going to encounter. Because, obviously, we had the whole thing with Umbrasil. That was, uh, that was something. But, uh, I feel like Raishan is definitely more, like is lower than umbrasil because we had the uh, whole season was basically about taking this motherfucker down pretty much or at least you know acquiring the vestiges as many like as many as possible and then ending up they ended up like taking them down so i think ray sean is a bottom b <laughs> bottom bitch 
but I think she's just like there at bottom. I don't I don't know like what they are, so I'm just gonna say Rayshon. So yeah, Rayshon bottom of the B, just due to the fact that they haven't done much, you know. The, the, this this dragon in particular, I mean, outside of like the very beginning where like she they chemical weaponed. They chemically like bombed Iman with the, with the with the <laughs> with that shit. <laughs> that was fucked up. But uh, you know, they don't care. So <laughs> yeah. Um I'ma go now. I'ma go on now. Next up is fuck what's this guy name? Uh Sondor. The the um Sondor. This is the uh the guy that had the Fenthris bow. That they had to go and, you know, defeat to get the Fenthris bow. That's the one that like took over Vex's mind right after they talked to her bitch ass dad. Not gonna lie, we're, we're making we're making another tier below below boring, bro. We're making a we're making a we're making a loser tier, bro. Making a loser tier because I feel like it. Uh, we'll make we'll make freak pink. So, Sondor, I'm gonna keep it a buck. He's just a fucking loser, bro. He's a fucking loser, bro. Like, at least in the show, wise, because I don't obviously I don't know the entire context of what the fuck he was doing. What I do know is that he 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 started tweaking the fuck out after Vex realized he was she was trying to manipulate uh, he was trying to manipulate her. He was like he he, he de she declined his advances and he was like. You bitches are all the same. Doing the whole nice guy shtick. So, yeah, he's a fucking loser. <laughs> and then he got, and then he gets fucked up. So yeah, I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not. I wasn't really a fan of uh, Sonder here. Is that his name? Yeah, Sondor or whatever. I wasn't a big fan of him. He was a kind of a fucking bitch. But uh, yeah, you know, can't really do anything about it. But uh, next up is. Vex's Vex and Vax's dad. Loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> um, I actually I, mm, I, I can't put him in loser. Just due to the fact that like the one flashback, like the like the first flashback I think it was, with Vex and Vax and, and their dad was that they quite literally, you know, broke into his office. To uh to see what was in this like you know this this little like chest, and they it was like you know a family like heirloom at least he's like that's what he described it as. This has been passed down in generations, and Vex broke it, so like at least a tiny bit of you know you know uh like kind of understandable why he don't like them, but also why what like I don't know calling Vex Vex like a mistake. Just because she broke some shit is crazy. Uh, I'm putting him in D tier because, like, I feel like he's he's less of a loser, just more like a like a fucking hate a very hateable fucking character, bro. Very hateable character. <laughs> but uh, you know, I can't put him in. I can't put him in uh boring because obviously, uh, he was more than boring. He was just a fucking dickhead. So yeah. Well, next up is Stordak, our uh, our main villain. Our, 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 no, more like our head, the head of our main villain, you know, like our, 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 uh, the head of our main villain team, I guess, because obviously Chroma Conclave is the main enemy, and obviously he's the leader of Chroma Conclave, so, yeah, so I feel like, I feel like Thordak is an A tier, like, I, like, I feel like he's definitely, he, he showed the fuck out, the first episode, he, he, he pulled up the Taldore and dumpstered the biggest kingdom, it, 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 at least as far as I'm aware, it, uh, 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 like in this in this place, Iman, he he fuck he he pulled up and showed these motherfuckers what's good, pretty much. So yeah, I I'm putting him above Kylie because he is quite literally the the main villain. He, he is the guy that we have to take take the fuck out. So yeah, he has to go in A. He he really just like he he demonstrated that he is not to be fucking trifled with. That we're we're no we're not capable of dealing with him, <laughs> Vesselheim included. 
<laughs> no, I can't keep I can't keep joking about the Vasselheim shit, bro. But whatever. Uh, next up we have Brinket. I'm surprised I didn't add motherfucker before. You know, in season one. But now that we have had the episode in the Fey Realm, where, where he, where where this motherfucker actually got voiced, I don't I don't remember who voiced him, but it was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, Trinket. I I feel like Trinket. Trinket gotta go on like A tier because you know he's part of Ox Machina pretty much. So I I, I probably I'm gonna put him at the very bottom because obviously it's a, it's, it's really just a bear at the end of the day. But, like, it's Vox mocking a bear. So, yeah. That's where we're putting it. All right. Now we're getting to our last five, as in ones that we're putting up here. And then we're going to, like, rearrange Vox mocking and the people that appeared in season two. So, yeah. All right. Uh, Umbrasil. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. I was, I was, I was hoping for this motherfucker to die since episode one, bro. This goopy ass motherfucker. I've been waiting for it, bro. And we got, and I got what I wanted, bro. Scanlan, the fucking man. Hook this nigga the fuck out, bro. Actually, cook the fuck out of him. Um, Umbrasil, I don't think he, he's nowhere near. I, I don't think he's like, he doesn't, he doesn't got the aura of Thordak. Umbrasil kind of just like a bitch. In terms of like, you know, like, like, like what he was doing. Because he was he was like colluding with Anna Ripley, so he's down there with Anna Ripley. Um, but he was colluding with her just so he can be like they don't understand your power. So like she was obviously manipulating him, and obviously I feel like Umbrasil is you know just like I I, I don't really, I, like I was just happy he died. That, that's realistically all I was happy for, bro. He's above Anna Ripley, but that's really. <laughs> um. Then we got the Ice Dragon. That really didn't end up doing as much as I thought it would. Uh, Vorugal, if that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, Vorugal didn't end up doing as much as I thought they'd do. What, like, if I remember correctly, it destroyed, like, one of the, like, like, uh, like uh, I think, like, an airship or something. I don't really know. It, it destroyed one, like, something in the air. And that's, and then they, the, he was, like, the dude that informed Thordak that uh, uh, Umbrasil was dead. That's really all we got to see him do in season two so i'll probably put him down in boring unfortunately uh, yeah yeah and, bo and boring i feel like boring's fine that's just like he didn't do shit as like one of the main dragon motherfuckers you you didn't do shit <laughs> ray sean at least you know showed up and did more come on man anyways we got we got uh next we got uh pike's great Great, 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 great grandfather, uh, Will Hand, Brickfoot, if I believe his last name is. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the guy that um, basically you know helped helped sorta, but uh, he's the one that like you know that they that they went to or Scanlan, Pike, and Grog went to. After they got rid of um the the fucking cro uh like crimson edge or whatever I think that whatever sword that uh Silas had, so because obviously Grog either lost all of his strength or you know like he I think he just lost his strength or and his muscles, so yeah he was the one that they went to he was pretty funny he is also the 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 one that uh was going to like that gave him medicine which he had to put up his ass. Which, you know, Scanlan just shoved right up that, <laughs> right up in there, bro. So, yeah. I, I feel like he's, uh, I feel like he's, I'd say B tier. I'd say, I'd say next to Cassandra, he kind of give off, like, the energy. Like, he's just family, bro. He just family, bro. Oh, wait. I forgot. Uh, did I, did I forget to put this dude in here? Ah, yeah, I did. I thought I did. I thought I didn't. My bad. But, uh, we, next up we have Zara. Zara. I was going to put like uh, Cre Cresha, Cre that guy. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I had him on the list, but I guess he did. I know, but um, I was gonna put her and uh, the the guy she was with that was like from um the the group that they went to or whatever. But um, I was gonna put. I, I thought I had him on the list. That's 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 really all I thought. But uh, either way, I'll just like bundle them together. 
Nah, nah, fuck that guy. Fuck Crevshaw. I'll just do it Zara. Zara. Uh, she's hot. And, you know, like, she did... She, uh, she kind of, like, you know, was the one that was, like... She was obviously there to, like, fuck with Vox Machina. Alongside Kev, Kevshaw as well. Even though that guy was, like... Like, they helped him. He, she, he helped her them a little bit more. Uh, she was there to just, like, fuck with them. Maybe take the vestige if they're not worthy of it. So, I mean, she did, she did a little shum to, like, assist, like, you know, uh, Osisa a little bit. I'd say... Uh, I'd say, like... Nah, nah, I'll put her, I'll put her down here. Bottom-ish of B tier. Just because, you know... I don't know, she was just, like, ob she was just obvious as fuck. And I can't, I, like, I was gonna say I can't put her high because I think she's high. But then, then, like, season one, I put, like, the season where one, like, you know, tier list, I put Allura in, <laughs> in B tier. <laughs> No, I can't. I, 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 yeah, you know that would be just contradictory, bro. But nah. Next up, we have uh, the fucking Z something. We have um, fuck, what's his name? Uh, I think his name is like Zevroar or something. Yeah, Zonroar, Zonroar, Drog's cousin, uh, son of Kevdak. Um, I think, I think, I think Zonroar. I, I wasn't that much of a fan of Zonroar, just because I feel like he was just there. To have, like, to give Grog, like, slight competition. Especially, like, because it's, like... Like, it's just, like, yeah, Grog... Grog, like, beat Hevdak. Then became the leader of the herd. And then he proceeded to give the leadership of the herd over, like, the Zonroar. I don't know. It just feels like this guy was just here. Just to, like, you know, eventually be the leader of the herd. Because Grog doesn't want the responsibility of doing it. So, yeah, I mean, he... Yeah, he's whatever. I'll put him, I'll put him in C tier, bottom of C tier. He just, he just whatever to me. So, yeah. But that's all the characters I had to add in season two. So now we have characters we can move in season two. So see, I was planning to move Yenin, but like that, what it wasn't Yenin that did anything. It was Ray Sean that. At least as far as I'm aware, it was Raishan that just possessed Yenin to uh, talk through her body or whatever. So I'm not really sure, you know, um, what to do with Yenin. So I'm going to keep her there. Kima, though. Kima, Kima assisted with, uh, like, the um, like the fire spot where, like, the fire Ashari were. Like, they were, she assisted with Allura to, you know, beat up all the motherfuckers that, like, you know, were, um, coming through, like, the gate and shit like that. So, I'm, I'm gonna move her up. Not, not, I'll put him up next to, like, uh, cause, like, I, I still feel like, you know, Kima's definitely not as, you know, you know, impactful yet as, like, Allura is. So, I'm probably just gonna, I'm gonna put her, like, you know, slightly under Uriel. Like, she, she did move, just, like, in the same rank. She just moved up a little bit. Uh, speaking of, uh, Allura, Allura definitely did a lot more this season. Again, not that much. So I'm gonna probably keep her probably the same because, like, before it was just like, oh, I think she's hot. But now I actually think that she's, like, a, a really good character. So, yeah. And, oh, uh, you know, she's a lesbian, I think. <laughs> but, I, but, I mean, I do, I do believe that she's a decent character. A good character. Uh, Gilmore, though. Gilmore's going up because he's the GOAT. <laughs> he's the goat. <laughs> I don't know. I just like Gilmore. He's a cool character, bro. But uh, that's really those people, like the people that like you know appeared in season two that weren't that were in season one. That's where I I'd say they'd go. Cassandra, there, above Delilah, because Delilah's gone, done and gone already, bro. And and you know, Cassandra's been like you know. Fucking holding down the fort in like the, the the white stone and shit. So, yeah. But all right, here comes you know, the 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 more the more like you know, changes that will be made. Is the Vox Machina group. So, like I was saying, like at the very beginning, Grog probably Grog and Vex Vax Vax my bad, had probably like, the longest you know like character development in in the in season two like since like vex uh, vax and uh grog probably had like season long 
character, you know, improvement. So, yeah, I, I, do, I do believe that uh, Grog is probably up there with, like, probably, probably above Pike. But again, I don't, I think Pike probably had, like, the least in Season 2. Her and Percy probably had, like, the least in Season 2. But I still, still think Percy went stupid. Like, he's easily, like, you know, like, still top of A tier for me anyways. But, um, who I do got to move up is Scanlan, bro. So, I, like, so most of season two, I was still like, yeah, Scanlan, the same old, same old, the mo same motherfucker that we're, we're always going to see, you know, he, he's, he's not going to change. He's not going to do shit. I was proven wrong. He he was he uh he did not back down. I know he backed down a little bit, but he came through. He pulled through in the fight against Umbrasil. He he uh he um ended the season off great, amazing. He 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 easily without a doubt. Uh, I'm thinking, bro. Uh, I don't. Mm, uh, fuck, bro. I don't know where to put him. Because this is like... This is annoying. Because it's just like... I feel like... I feel like... Scanlan's development in the last like... Like three, four episodes... Is... Is comparable or even better than like... Grog's and... And Vax's, bro. Because like... Scanlan really only needed... To like... To have a... To re a reason... Like he needed just he needed a reason to prove himself and why he's not just this this scummy bastard, bro. And he got he 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 got it with Kaylee, bro. So you know, right now, right now, where he's going to go, his his only place he can really go if if like if like season three. Like, in Season 3, after all of Season 3, right? Is that, like, depending on how Season 3 goes, he should stay where he's going to go. But, depending on how Season 3 goes, he could go down. So, I am I am with, you know, a, a hesitant hand going to put Scanlan in SD. <laughs> because, re realistically, I think... Scanlan's like like uh development with the the uh, the fact that he is now a dad and that uh, his daughter does not respect him. He does she does not care for his him whatsoever. He prefers that she he probably, you know, he'd rather like uh live with the burden of the fact that you're just a scummy ass motherfucker that probably most likely deserves to die, right? For doing what you did to like his her parents and shit or her, her mom. So, yeah, like, I feel like that now. And then, like, with the fact that he he's the one that took down Umbrasil. Definitely gives him an S, S, S tier ranking. Um, But as for the rest of uh, Vox Machina, I think Kalis is going over Pike and Vax is going above Vex. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, like I said in season one, Pike probably had, or not season one, before, recently, you know, a couple, a couple minutes ago, I think Pike had probably like the least character development in season two alongside Percy. But again, season one did insane with Percy's character development. Like the entire, like, like second half was all Percy related r roughly, you know? So Yeah. It was all like Whitestone, gotta take out the fucking like Delilah and fucking Silas. So yeah. And then obviously retrieving a Cassandra. So I, I think Percy is still like easily without a doubt top of A tier. Could easily be S tier, but like obviously we didn't see much from him this season. So that's why he's not in S tier yet. So yeah. <laughs> Scanlan really went from like second, fi like second least, fi like a uh, second, you know, of Vox Machina, like of the bottom of Vox Machina to third. 
I'm not saying, okay, I should say, like I did in the first one, I'm not saying any of the Vox Machina, like, like characters are, are bad or, you know, that they, um, that because they're low, lower than somebody else, that they're worse, that they're terrible, they're shitty characters or whatever. I'm just saying it in the terms of how I enjoyed watching their characters and, you know, um, how I watched their characters, like, you know, grow. So, and I think Scanlan, obviously season two, like, uh, like nine, 10, 11, and 12, he probably more like 10, 11, and 12, because obviously nine was, um, uh, the grog stuff. So, uh, I think 10, 11, and 12, I guess like end of nine, because obviously that's when we realize that, or we get the, um, the, 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 the fucking plot twist that Scanlan's a dad. So, yeah. So nine, 10, 11, and 12 easily gave Scanlan some, like, some of like the, the perfect, you know, um, the perfect fucking stepping stone to be like like possibly a good fa like favorite character my favorite character you know like if he can if he can you know deliver in season three then you know he he'll be he'll be up like he'll stay here you know <laughs> that's really all i could say but let me know what y'all think about this because i think this is like you know roughly where i'm gonna keep everybody for now i don't really have any qualms with it as of right now i might have uh, obviously i'm gonna have to change stuff later when i get to season three but uh let me know what y'all think i had a lot of fun making this especially season two there's a lot of new characters that uh we got to meet and a lot of like uh characters we knew before that changed in a whole lot of ways so yeah i'm excited for season three let me know your y'all thoughts and opinions on this as well as if you're excited for season three Anyways, I got nothing else for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. It really helps out the channel. Uh, I hope, and I'll see you all later. Damn, I almost fucked up my outro, which I did. Anyways, later.